Tell me what the uh, sort of, I don't know, complications, both technically and acting-wise, it is to play two, two roles. Uh, well, it's, it's certainly a challenge. I wouldn't say there's complications, but it's, um, there are uh, technical difficulties as far as, um, you know, if I'm in a scene with myself, it's, it's a little challenging. You know, acting is, we, we always are taught acting is like reacting and just being <laughs> in a moment with somebody. And it's kind of hard for me to do that when I'm talking to an ex on the wall. So that's definitely a challenge, but it, it is also such, you know, a great uh, opportunity for me to be able to um, indulge in these two characters. Obviously, it's this this series is, is premiering at the same time the Ringer is, and you're getting you're getting a lot of com um, com comparisons, mm -hmm. I guess, with with Sarah Michelle Gellar's return to TV. Any pressure there? I mean, uh, she talks a lot about the same thing, acting with body doubles and right. with technology and that sort of stuff, and how that she handles that. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't see uh, any pressure there. You know, we are. We're obviously on different networks. We have very different demographics. Uh, or demographic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> demographics. Sorry. We have a very different demographic. And, um, you know, I certainly can relate to uh, her working and her uh, hours. I'm sure we have very similar <laughs> work schedules. But, uh, you know, our, our show is, is mysterious, and I think it it really involves um, very interesting characters, and I don't really, I'm not really familiar with what their their plot line is, mm -hmm. but um, I think that they're going to be very different. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned mysterious, and of course, your character is going to be, I, I'm assuming, fooled for a while. Uh, actually, he he's the first character that um, discovers uh, that the swap mm -hmm. took place, so um, he actually becomes an ally of of the sisters and, and helps. He's the one character, I guess, that helps yeah. them along um, through, the, through the process with mm -hmm. what they're doing. I think that the title, sort of The Lion Game, it makes me think that like nothing maybe is what the, it seems and there's a lot of people who have a lot of deeper things going on that you, we don't see in the surface. Does your character have anything to hide or, or is he just... Uh, is you know, he it's, really it's funny. I mean, um, unless they put a twist in there. I've thought about this before. He's, he's almost the only person that's pretty straightforward mm -hmm. in everything yeah. he does. Um, yeah, he, he's almost the only one that doesn't get involved in, in any of that. So it's, it's kind of interesting. And, and both of you can tell me, I mean, how close to the, the books do, do, does the show stay or does it go on its own sort of? Uh, we are loosely based on the books, uh, but we definitely go on our own path. It is a mystery and to keep the audience kind of intrigued, we don't want to tell the exact story that's in the books that they've read, so uh, we like to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Do you think that um, dealing with the parents, is, uh, the the characters, the people who are doing the parents, what's that relationship like? The interaction with uh, the older actors on, that are playing parents, and they have secrets. The characters have secrets. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, well, I interact the most, I think, with with the adult set. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, I, I will forever say that I think it is so fantastic that our show really involves the parents and has them right in the middle of the storyline and they're not just some, you know, older, you know, set of parents on, on a teen show. I think this show is so well-rounded with every age group. Uh, so that's exciting. And then, of course, you know, Helen and Andy and Adrian really are fantastic actors and role models and, and mm -hmm. serve as, you know, great leaders. How much do you guys, do you all know about your character at a given time? Uh, how, how much in advance do you know? I mean, I, I feel like they, uh, they're, they keep everything pretty quiet. The, they don't let us know too far advance um, in, in, like, the advanced storylines, but they, uh, they're good working with us if we need to know something that's going to affect how we're going to do a scene or, or affect how we're going to uh, have a relationship with another character. They're, they're good about us giving us clues and everything mm -hmm. that will help there. But. Yeah, definitely. We talk about the, uh, the, the way the EPs treat the information. Because I know that sometimes they'll tell one an actor this much information about their storyline and then they'll tell another actor about this part of their storyline. Um, how do you act? in the moment when you don't not quite sure about where this is going 
and how do the, the directors or EPs sort of shape your, your, your acting in the scene or to help with um, what they know and you don't know? Well, I think, I think that's what the fun of it is, uh, to not really know. I, I think it, it does allow us to be really in the moment. But I think also a lot of us don't want to know. Uh, I know there are some actors who are dying to find out and, and are, are talking to, to Chuck, our executive producer, and trying to get information out of him. And then there's others that are just happy, you know, taking it as it comes. So it varies.